Hi guys, and welcome to the very first episode of World of Tanks Tutorials, or Woot Toot for short. And uh, today we're going to be starting off on something very simple, learning the basics of your garage. Now, I'm going to explain the HUD layout. Now, mine looks completely different from yours, simply because I have, a, uh, uh, I have modifications or mods running in my game, of which you're looking at a garage mod. What this garage mod does is it turns your regular enclosed garage into an open field area. Now I'll be covering modifications and how to install mods later on in another episode so for now let's just carry on. Also you'll notice that down below I have a lot of tanks yes but most importantly I have two rows as where you only have one. Again that is a modification and I'll be explaining that later on. But for now, I'm going to explain the simplicities of what you see on the desktop. Now, your upper section will be identical to mine with the exception of the name of your tank here, your name and your clan and, other, and various other things here and whatnot. So, let's just get down to the simpl simples. Now, when you first start off the game, you are given the first basic tanks of all nations. So that's one German, one American, one British, one French, one Russian, one Chinese, and then when the Japanese come in, one Japanese. So, you'll get to start what, pick what nation you wish to start off, and then go down that nation. Now, in order for you to progress from the one tank you're into the next tank, again, I'll explain that in the next episode, but we're explaining the HUD right now. So, as you can see on the far left, you've got your crewman. Now, your crews won't be like this or anything like that, again, because my account's different from yours. But, what you should see up here is a section that says Missions, and another one that says Battle Tutorial. Now, I suggest that you do the Battle Tutorial. You'll get a pop-up, very similar to this, that will tell you, you will earn 6,000 credits and 300 EXP, if you complete the mission. Now, bear in mind, okay, you can only do this once. Now I haven't done this yet simply because I'm going to be saving that for another tutorial. In this tutorial we're just explaining the differences between my garage and yours. Which is tanks because I've been playing for quite some time. And most importantly, we're, I'm going to explain what these numbers on the far right mean. Now on the far right you should see a whole bunch of numbers. Okay, and it may look like gibberish to you, but it's not. It's actually the statistics of your tank. For example, this T1 Cunningham that you see right here has 115 hit points and currently weighs 7.76 tons with a maximum weight limit of 8.3. Now, you cannot exceed your maximum weight limit, otherwise your tank just won't go anywhere. Um, it explains your engine horsepower, your speed limit, your... Traverse, which is the way how fast the body of your tank or the chassis of your tank turns, the armor value in millimeters, so 10 millimeters in the front, 10 millimeters in the side, and 10 millimeters in the rear. Same as your turret. Now, it tells you your standard shell damage and your standard penetration. Now, that is with the stock gun. Now, this is where well, the Tanks is different. See this little box here that says research? Click that. And you'll get this little pop-up that gives you all of this information. Now, this information here is how you progress on in that nation's tech tree. For example, if I want to unlock this gun, this 37mm semi-automatic M1924, which is a browning machine gun, basically, I would click on it. Now, it would this little bar would be in green and use experience. Now how you gain experience in order tanks is by using the tank. By using the role that that tank is for. I'll explain the roles in a later video for those tanks. For now we're just covering the tech tree. And what you see here, okay, is upgraded tracks, which means you can carry more weight. A better engine, which means more horsepower, faster speed, better traverse. A radio, which means you can relay positions of enemy tanks to your teammates. A better turret for more hit points and better armor. And also, upgraded turrets allow you to carry 
upgraded guns. For example, here's a 20mm Haspananza Zuka Burkett gun. This one I'm using is a 37mm Browning semi-automatic machine gun. Now, this also allows you then progress on to other tanks in that tech tree. So you've gone from tier 1 into tier 2 now, as you can see. We start off with a T2 medium, or you can go to the M2 light, the T18 tank destroyer, or the T2 medium. Pretty simple, right? Now you're thinking, what are these gold tanks right here that have this weird gold color? They're just that. They're premium vehicles. Now, a premium vehicle, again, I'll cover in a separate tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I'm just explaining how the tech tree progresses. Now, what a lot of players don't seem to understand is after a battle, there's lots of information, there's lots of stats, there's lots of flashing, there's lots of this, there's lots of that. Well, let's explain it to you. Click on your services box underneath your tank, and you'll get this little pop-up. Now, see where it says repair automatically, there'll be a little checkbox. When you check it, you'll get a little black screen that says saving, which is updating to the server, then your ammunition. Now, if you check this ammunition right here, you will automatically resupply any ammunition you expend during the game, i.e. shooting an enemy tank. Okay? Basically, you put in a requisite, they send in the ammunition, and you pay the money for it. Now, this here, where you see the little gold icon, that is premium ammunition. Now, a premium ammunition, compared to a stock ammunition, is right here on the screen. Right here, you should see uh, 29 to 49 millimeters of penetration doing 23 to 38 damage. The premium does 47 to 79 millimeters of penetration and does 23 to 38 damage. The damage will always be the same. Premium ammunition just increases the penetration value. Okay? And that's how you figure it out. Now, you can buy premium with in game currency as well as premium gold. Now, consumables here is how you get your consumables now a consumable is something that you can use in battle ie you're damaged in the tracks or you your ammo rack is damaged or your turret is jammed or your gun is destroyed you can use a repair kit either the large again using premium or a small repair kit using in-game credits to repair the damage Okay, same with a small light, with a, a, a first aid kit and a fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher is used to put out fires. Simple, right? Exactly. You will then click accept. If you have enough credits, it will take the credits from your money pool that you see here. And you're done. Now, there are ways of modifying a tank to make it perform even better past your research and upgrade section. And that is this section, equipment mounting. Now you can only mount three equipments just like three consumables. Now what you see here on ST1 Cunningham is I have improved ventilation class one, which gives me 5% to all my crew skills. And a camouflage net. Reduces detection chance when vehicle is stationary. Now I have an open slot and in this open slot I could buy a toolbox or enhanced gun lane drive to speed up my radical time shrinking so that's your sp again I'll explain that in a different video coated optics to increase your view range again I'll explain that in another video so I got the two that I wanted the rest you really don't need in my personal opinion and again this is just my personal opinion guys and there you go now of course my tank looks different from yours because if you go to exterior you can purchase camouflage now you can purchase it permanently or for 30 days or for seven days now I've purchased all of mine for f for seven days simply because I only have the T1 Cunningham to help you guys doing these tutorials now let's actually end this tutorial part here and I'll see you in the next part explaining the the crew and the skills. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next next tutorial video. And as, as remember, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Comment is free, by the way. And if you like this video and you want more tutorials, you can always click that subscribe button. 
And as always, guys, as Cobra Commander says, keep your shells flying, keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out.